Magandang araw mga kasipnayan. Welcome to Sir Oknik's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to recall how to identify the general formula of a given sequence and we will solve for the missing terms and common difference using the explicit formula. Identify the general term of the sequence 2, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 7. The common difference of the given sequence is equal to negative 3. Since the difference is equal to negative 3, let us assume that the general term is given by the formula a sub n equals negative 3n. Identify the first four terms of the sequence given the formula. We will have a sub 1 equals negative 3 times 1 equals negative 3. a sub 2 equals negative 3 times 2 which is equal to negative 6. a sub 3 equals negative 3 times 3 equals negative 9. And a sub 4 equals negative 3 times 4 which is equal to negative 12. As you can see, the product is different from the given sequence. So let us identify the constant to be added or subtracted to the product so that the result will be the same as the terms of the given sequence. Negative 3 plus 5 equals 2. Negative 6 plus 5 equals negative 1. Negative 9 plus 5 equals negative 4. And negative 12 plus 5 equals negative 7. Since the result is now the same as the terms of the general sequence, therefore, we may conclude that the general term of the sequence is given by the formula a sub n equals negative 3n plus 5. Let us now discuss how to identify terms and common difference using the explicit formula. In the sequence 3, 5, 7, and 9, the first term is equal to 3. The second term equals 5, and the fourth term is equal to 9. The general formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by the explicit formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, wherein a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the term position, and d stands for the common difference. Let us try our first example. Find the 15th term of the sequence 8, 11, and 14. Using the explicit formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, let us first identify the given facts. a sub 1 is equal to 8, n is equal to 15, and d is equal to 11 minus 8, which is equal to 3. Substituting the given values, we will then have a sub 15 equals 8 plus quantity 15 minus 1 times 3. Simplifying the parentheses, we will have 8 plus 14 times 3, which is equal to a sub 15 equals 8 plus 42. Summing up, we will then have a sub 15 is equal to 50. We therefore conclude that the 15th term of the sequence 8, 11, 14 is equal to 50. Find the 13th term of the sequence 14, 10, and 6. Using the explicit formula, let us now identify the given facts. a sub 1 is equal to 14, n is equal to 13, and d is equal to 10 minus 14, which is equal to negative 4. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will then have a sub 13 is equal to 14 plus quantity 13 minus 1 times negative 4. A sub 13 is equal to 14 plus 
12 times negative 4. A sub 13 is equal to 14 plus negative 48. And that is equal to A sub 13 equals negative 34. We therefore conclude that the 13th term of the sequence 14, 10, and 6 is equal to negative 34. Find the 11th term of the sequence negative 12, negative 5, 2. Identifying the given facts, we will have a sub 1 equals negative 12, n is equal to 11, and d is equal to negative 5 minus negative 12, which is equal to positive 7. Substituting the values to the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 11 equals negative 12, plus quantity 11 minus 1 times 7. Simplifying the parentheses, that is equal to negative 12 plus 10 times 7. Finding the product, we will have negative 12 plus 70, which is equal to a sub 11 equals 58. We therefore conclude that the 11th term of the sequence negative 12, negative 5, 2 is equal to 58. Find the first term of the sequence if d is equal to 5 and a sub 20 is equal to 97. In this case, we will be finding the first term. So let us identify first what are the given facts. a sub 20 is equal to 97 and n is equal to 20. The difference is equal to positive 5. Let us now substitute the given facts to the explicit formula. We will then have a sub 20 is equal to a sub 1 plus 20 minus 1 times 5. Since a sub 20 is equal to 97, that will be 97 equals a sub 1 plus 19 times 5. Finding the product that is equal to 97 equals a sub 1 plus 95. Using the addition property of equality that is equal to a sub 1 equals 97 minus 95. a sub 1 will then be equals to 2. Let us find the difference of the sequence if a sub 1 is equal to 15 and a sub 7 is equal to negative 9. Let us identify the given facts. We have a sub 1 equals 15 and a sub 7 equals negative 9. N is equal to 7. Substituting the given values to the explicit formula, we will have a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity 7 minus 1 times d. We will then have negative 9 equals 15 plus 6 times d. And that is equal to 6d equals negative 9 minus 15. Simplifying the right side of the equation, we will then have 6d equals negative 24. Dividing both sides by 6 to eliminate the numerical coefficient of d, we will have d is equal to negative 4. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video and on our previous discussion. A recursive formula gives the value of a specific term based on the previous term. An explicit formula gives the value of a specific term based on the position. The explicit formula is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d.
where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n corresponds with the term position, and d is the common difference. Let us check your knowledge. Solve for what is asked using the formula. Just a reminder, don't forget to pause the video while you are answering. I think you are now ready. Let us check your work. Find the 18th term of the sequence negative 1, negative 6, negative 11. Identifying the given facts, we will have a sub 1 equals negative 1, n is equal to 18, and d is equal to negative 6 minus negative 1, which is equal to negative 5. Substituting the given values to the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 18 equals negative 1 plus quantity 18 minus 1 times negative 5, which is equal to negative 12 plus 17 times negative 5. Simplifying the multiplication, we will have a sub 18 equals negative 12 plus quantity negative 105, which is equal to a sub 18 equals negative 117. Find the first term of the sequence if d equals negative 2 and a sub 11 is equal to 24. The given facts are a sub 11 equals 24, n is equal to 11, and d is equal to negative 2. Substituting the given values to the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 11 equals a sub 1 plus 11 minus 1 times negative 2. That is equal to 24 equals a sub 1 plus 10 times negative 2. 24 is equal to a sub 1 minus 20. Applying the addition property of equality, we will then have a sub 1 equals 24 plus 20, which is equal to a sub 1 equals 44. Thank you for watching Sir Ocknick's channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Again, let us always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning, good day, and God bless.